what I mean? Yep. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Good night, scrubbers. Just unloading see? some. Yep, same. Same yeah. Yeah. Broken. <sighs> dust is good good value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta sell the dust. <laughs> so you put out each one from the PC? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Yeah. It's uh it's just all, all the side, all pinless. So, metal, copper, copper recovery mostly, a little bit of gold, copper. mostly copper. The copper's good. Another one? Uh, Two? That's more ram. Oh, ram. Yeah, so. Uh, okay, just uh, put this down and then. Yeah, yeah, in. yep, yep. And then the rest. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, more plastic here. Here you go, scrappers, just uh, cashing out on uh, a bit of stuff today. There you go. That's it? Free plastic, yeah, you can keep the tub. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need them. Uh, all right. Oh, more CPU. Uh, yeah. More, yeah. Got to cash out on some of this. Uh, uh, Valuable. That's it. That's it, I think. <laughs> chili. That's for Jim. Yeah, I, I grew him a chili plant. Uh, all right, and yeah, you can weigh, I suppose. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, and. Uh, So I thought I'd do a bit of a a uh, e-waste drop-off video, just a quick one, just to uh, show you what I'm dropping off. So uh, yeah, I decided to get rid of the the cheap CPUs. Um, because it's just too much room and this is all ram and there's another barrel and you might think no why are you selling your ram well it's there's too much money in uh, this kind of stuff that I'm stockpiling and so I made the hard decision to uh, sell the ram or most of it that I've got. Um, I've got, I've got a lot of RAM in storage, but off the property. But I won't get rid of that yet. Uh, I've got more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I might have to do it by hand. Uh, yeah. Not the wheel and uh, it's a, the barrel's just a little bit too heavy, I think, to oh. tip it. Um, Oh, maybe. Yeah, just more, more, more 
Amazing how much. Jeez. How long did it take to bike all this? Uh, would you believe this is nothing? I got storage room with uh, probably over three tubs yeah, yeah. Oh. over the years, you know, build up a lot and somewhat, you know, because I buy from other scrappers, but. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, that's why I don't like these tubs that are skinny in the top. Yeah. Nothing slides out. So I'm trying to. Holy moly. Never seen, never seen so many. So many in one shot, huh? Amazing. I wonder how much that weighs. Wow. Huh? 200, you reckon? Has to be close. Oh, probably more than. <laughs> wow. Well, there goes a big batch of ram. Oh, so two ninety-eight. Wow, two hundred ninety-eight kilos of ram. That's what in pounds. That's about seven hundred pounds of ram. Uh, and then I've got the ram bus, and then I've got another type of ram. Ram bus. Ah, more plastic. It's great, I can get rid of my plastic for recycling. All gets shredded up. Uh, more plastic. I'm just trying to get rid of these barrels today. Because, yeah, it's really hard to tip stuff out of it because of the narrow top. So, it's great to get rid of them. Uh, and there's another barrel up there. Okay. Oh! Oh! A little bit of water, it'll come out. Uh, this, one is... Uh, oh. uh, this is uh, toner cartridges. Oh, you can take them. Oh, that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, wow, so that's just low grade. Uh, that's all the gold ram. Yeah, it's sad to see it go, but 
there's just too much value on my property worth of gold recovery stuff so something had to give and let's face it it would take me 10 years to process that for gold recovery and the pinless cpus well it's basically just copper recovery it's you know you sure you can take off the the copper and leave yourself this part for gold recovery but well um i'd rather cash it out because there's uh yeah things are pretty quiet and so uh i i'd rather have some cash all right let's take this upstairs okay so i'm done here pinless cpus uh yep a few hundred pounds there <laughs> Uh, yep, I'm going now. Gold RAM, uh, that's fingerless RAM and uh, RAM bus. So there goes a lot of my, uh, a lot of my RAM. I've still got quite a lot in stockpile, as I said, but, um, Yeah, as I was trying to say, in um, as I was unloading there and stuff, uh, gosh, it was heavy stuff. It's amazing how heavy CPUs can get. And um, oh, there's like, I don't know, there must be like 20,000 RAM sticks or something. It's, it's amazing how many RAM sticks uh, 300 kilos is. I can't remember what it was. It was uh, thousands and thousands and uh yeah as i was saying um i decided to uh get rid of that stuff uh all my really good gold recovery stuff um i keep but um i just decided that uh too much value in the ram sitting there and some of that ram i actually you know i buy from other scrappers so there's a lot of money tied up in it and it might be a long time before i get to process everything that I've got so I thought well okay um, I've had an opportunity to sell my RAM today at a really good price like a lot more than I expected the RAM to go for and so that's why I decided to um, you know um, bring in a tub worth and yeah at least cash in some and at the same time I don't have uh, that much value on my property because you know it's all a security thing as as well and uh um and so i'd rather uh, cash it in and uh, turn that money some of that money into um more productive things and uh, maybe even a little bit of silver um uh, wouldn't mind a bit of silver just to uh you know get some precious metals out of that ram um might even get myself uh a half ounce of gold or something at the same time but probably not um, uh, I'll just you know I'm pretty bullish on silver at the moment just and gold obviously gold because of the way the uh, the economies are going all over the world uh, it wouldn't surprise me that we're in uh, hyperinflation um, one day um, soon and you know I just want to uh, prepare for that and yeah just don't want to be left with uh, just stuff that um, I need to process to get some cash out of. And if we do go into hyperinflation, well, you know, the, the cash would be pretty much useless. You know, fiat currency, paper money, it's, uh, it's just based on debt. So if we go into hyperinflation, it won't be worth nothing. You know, whereas right now, today, I can buy assets. You know, I was thinking about buying a generator uh, for a backup power thing. I was thinking about buying, um, yeah, some silver, uh, restocking the pantry and, uh, you know, just uh, upgrade some tools and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's going to be money well spent and, um, yeah. And I think in the long run, it's the best way because money in the bank is probably just about useless uh well it's okay right now although it doesn't earn any interest but uh come hyperinflation if it ever does come 
or we get into a situation like, uh, you know, sort of like a cyber attack or something where we got where we're off the grid basically. Um, I'd rather have good valuable assets like a generator and uh, and stuff like that, stuff that I can really uh, um, you know survive from. You know, so uh, all right, guys. Well, hope that was a bit of fun. It was uh, not sure how the video is going to turn out because. Um, you know, we're trying to tip the ram into the tubs and stuff, but you saw there a full tub, 300 kilos. So now I know how much a full tub um, of ram is in there. And uh, I actually, I just gotta, when I go back, I'll just do a little upgrade on roughly how much I'm gonna get out of it. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Wow, how's that for a e-waste drop off? <laughs> Uh, quite amazing and uh, <sighs> one of the things that kind of excited me more was uh, getting rid of those two big black barrels um, I took all the all the small barrels back uh, I, you know I don't mind this size barrel um, easy to manage you can even stack on top if you had to not that I usually can because everything's so so heavy um, yeah, so as I was saying, uh, I might not have been really clear in in, um, on, in the car and stuff. Is just that uh, I, I've just I've got a lot of stockpile gold recovery stuff. Obviously, it's not here um, out here in the open, but uh, I'm just going through, seeing what's 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 left to process, uh, all kinds of things. And uh, just too much value sitting in, um, you know, in RAM and those CPUs. I just decided to get rid of them because, yeah, I, I also got a good price on the CPUs. And, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was okay. Pretty much what I expected, you know. Uh, basically, those pinless CPUs are... Our, um, base metal recovery it's more about the copper than it is the gold recovery um, so uh, yeah uh, decided to get rid of them because they're just uh, a lot of dead weight sitting around and just uh, just too much um, money sitting around and that ram yeah I, I, I decided to get rid of uh, you know a full tub of ram and it turned out to be about 300 kilos. So there's about, um, in a regular ram stick, there's about 40 ram sticks to a kilo. And so that equates to about 12,000 ram sticks, but um, there was, there's probably five or 6,000 laptop ram sticks. So uh, they're only half. So yeah, pretty close to about 20 ram sticks in a, in a full tub of, uh, of one of these full tubs anyway. So that's a lot of, imagine that, 20,000 ram sticks. And uh, I know I'm going to get a bit of flack from people saying, hey, uh, you know, oh, you could have got a lot more for gold recovery. Well, I actually got offered a, a better than expected price. And so I, I couldn't resist the price. And as I was saying, uh, as far as, uh, you know, just what's going on in the world at the moment, um, uh, as far as the economy is concerned, we've got, you know, there's threats of uh, um, cyber attacks and, uh, you know, all kinds of things can happen. And it's just like, I just didn't want to have so much um, uh, money or value in stuff just sitting around because you never know. Um, I don't know when I'm going to actually be able to start processing my gold recovery things and things that I really like are things like, you know, gold fingers. Um, I get a lot of uh, good vintage circuit boards and, you know, so I accumulate a lot of good high quality gold fingers as well as average quality gold fingers. Um, and so, you know, to me, this is an easy thing. And even though RAM is basically... Um, you've got a gold finger and then you've got your, uh, your IC chips and so on. Um, yeah, 20,000 sticks, it would just be a, just too much uh, work for me. And you don't, I, you know, I don't know, I might not be able to um, 
you know, keep up with it later when I've got it. And I might not have that opportunity to, to sell the Ram at a good price, or if at all, I might end up having to sell it on eBay in bags of five kilos or something. Uh, I just don't want the hassle. And I'm still going to, obviously I'm still processing anyway, so I'm still going to accumulate Ram and I do have a stockpile in storage. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, yeah. Um, just wanted to uh, get something down and get that cash and use it for something a bit more uh, realistic in these days because um, as some of you know I'm a bit of a prepper how's my garage nice and clean oh getting there it's gonna yeah now that I got rid of those two barrels uh, you know just more space where I can put things aside but um you know because I'm a bit of a prepper I want to sort of get more into the prepping thing and put value into stuff that I see as real assets and so uh, even though RAM is kind of an asset, um, I'd rather have it in a real piece of gold and I'd rather have it in um, stuff like tools or um, uh, a generator and stockpile my pantry and, and so on, all that kind of thing. I want to really get into that side of thing as well as doing my e-waste. Um, you know, because later on I want to play with my vintage stuff, I want to play with stuff that I've, um, you know, I've kept my collectibles, I've got, you know, stacks of uh, gaming consoles and so on, you know, and, and all kinds of things, so um, I don't want to sort of have to spend the rest of my life gold recovering, you know, I, I want to gold recover, but the good stuff, you know, ceramic CPUs, I've got mountains of it, and uh, this is just uh, gaming consoles in all these um, military boxes and uh, radios, various collectibles, old vintage things. So um, it's pretty safe because there's no real, you know, value, that much value. I mean, it's not, you know, like, um, it's not gold or anything, but uh, yeah, so that, that's my story anyway. And so, um, for that van load, and mind you, uh, uh, a third of the van was just rubbish <laughs> that I had to get rid of. Luckily, I can get rid of my plastic and so on. So I had a, a, a whole lot of plastic. But just to give an example, that's what I've made today in that um, gold recovery stuff. So, you know, there's a long time before I could process the stuff to get this kind of money and sure you might add another ten thousand dollars to this if i recovered it myself or maybe double that but um yeah like i said you know as time goes along you get older and and there's only so much you can you know you can get out there and do and what if i can't do it and what if something happened where i i can't uh, uh work or you know go out there and do physical stuff or you know um what happens with it then? It gets thrown away, it gets thrown in a, in a dumpster. Um, you know, so, you know, I've got to sort of like just limit and just go keep the cream stuff that's uh, uh, easy for me to recover or easy to uh, on sell to someone because my uh, gold fingers, you know, and I do have a decent stockpile from eight years of collecting gold fingers. So, um, you know, all kinds of things, I see chips, you know, the ceramic IC chips with, uh, you know, gold in there and uh, uh, flat packs and BGAs and pins and, you know, uh, this, you know, a lot of stuff here just to uh, depopulate. So anyway, that's my story. I, you know, I, I don't have to make excuses for uh, making sixteen and a half thousand dollars for the day. Uh, yeah, it takes a long time to build up that amount of RAM, but um, well got plenty of time <laughs> and I'll build it up again and uh, maybe next time I'll get an even better price or if not I might end up just um, going for the gold recovery for the the stuff that I continue getting from here uh, it just depends on the situation you know and uh, yeah I'm just sort of preparing for possible um, scenarios that could happen in the world if we do go in hyperinflation well having um, money or you know uh, cash in a bank is might not be as as uh, safe as some people would think um, you know if hyperinflation that money could turn into use yeah absolutely useless one dollar could be worth could give you one cent worth of buying power that's you know look at all the other countries that have gone through inflation like recently um uh is it argentina um i uh, can't remember but uh yeah it's uh yeah so basically 
I've gotten uh, more than I've uh, paid for my my new van. <laughs> I've got that back, so that's cool. Awesome. Now it's uh, go out there and buy some toys and and uh, a bit of silver and uh, you know might even get myself a little blob of gold just to uh, celebrate. And uh, yep, carry on. All right, guys. Well, I hope that was a bit of fun. Uh, I'm going to continue on here scrapping some stuff. Might do a uh, short video on just doing a little bit of bit more uh, processing, um, oddball things, and uh, yeah, um, everything's looking good. Keep scrapping, and I'll catch you next time.